Well, welcome, Larry Sparks here, Destiny Image. We are live at the National Religious Broadcasters event here in Nashville. I am here with Eugene Lunning, who's a wonderful part of our team, but I want to ask for the origin story behind this new imprint. This That's new, right. This new publishing arm of what we're doing here at Nori Media Group called Sea Harp Press. Now, Eugene, you have been a blessing to us. You did the Moments with Jesus Encounter Bible with Bill Johnson. Correct. Which has been doing phenomenally. We're so grateful for that. I love anything that will help set children up for an encounter with Holy Spirit yes. and get them closer to Jesus. So. Absolutely. But how, so you are starting this new imprint, new publishing extension, Sea Heart Press. Correct. T tell me the story. The story is, as we were working on Moments with Jesus, Christian Raffetto, one of the amazing people at Destiny, yes. we would have these conversations about things we were reading, things I was reading, and I kept asking, how could we amplify people like Charles Spurgeon, A.W. Tozer, Andrew Murray, George McDonald? And we just started dreaming. It was about a year and a half ago, and we got the opportunity to come in and meet with Don Norai of yes. Norai Media Group. And, and say, hey, we really believe there's a chance to amplify these texts so that the body of Christ would experience deep, rich thinking about who Jesus is, yeah. who the Holy Spirit is, and I, we're thrilled. We're yeah. excited to bring some of these classics back to life. Well, and I want to know the story about the title, Sea Harp. Uh, but, sea Harp, yeah. But I want to let people know, I went and got my Master of Divinity from Regent University, and it's funny because obviously I am charismatic, Pentecostal, I love all of that, but the authors that you are referencing that you're publishing through Seahart, Charles Spurgeon, A.W. Tozer, I think of others like A.B. Simpson, mm -hmm. some of our classic, they were some of the most Holy Spirit saturated people. Like, I haven't just read a little devotional here or there. I think of even Oswald Chambers, who was Christian Missionary Alliance. Right. These people love the move of God. Oh, yes. They love revival. Yes. Jonathan Edwards, Charles Finney. So I love what you guys are doing, redigging some of these old wells of revival and yes. reintroducing them to the 21st century. Absolutely. Sea Harp, where did that come from? Sea Harp, we were trying to think of a name that really captured the spirit of what we want to do, and it's all about the person of Jesus. Yeah. And I love when I'm teaching to talk about just his movements around the Galilee and describing that so people can imagine it for themselves. Well, I was looking one day in the book of Mark and it referenced the Sea of Galilee being Kinneret. And I went and looked at the Hebrew derivation of that and Kinneret means harp. Wow. And it's because the Sea of Galilee looks like a harp. Mm. And so I thought, Harp C, C Harp. And I thought that's a really lovely name yeah, yeah. for the Galilean Jesus. Yes. And so that's where the name came from. It's all wow. about Jesus. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Well, I love what you guys are doing. I mean, can you give us a just a sneak preview of some of the projects you have coming up? Season one, we have uh, Humility by Andrew Murray, yeah. Abide in Christ. I believe we'll have Imitation of Christ by Thomas a Kempis, yes. classic. Oh, yeah. Um, A.W. Tozer's Pursuit of God, Knowledge of the Holy. Uh, we're going to have a book by Athanasius that has a C.S. Lewis forward. Wow. Wow. Later in the year, we'll have a George MacDonald. We'll have a couple of Spurgeon titles. Yes. So yeah, the first year, I think we're going to end up with 20, 25 books. I I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, again, Eugene, thank you for making these available Absolutely. to a whole new generation. Because I know so many of the revivalists that I admire who have shifted things in the last, you know, 20 years, 30 yes. years, yes. have been so deeply impacted by the writings of the people that you are publishing. Absolutely. So again, we're all about digging wells of revival, honoring what God has done, not as a memorial, but as something, as a signpost that says God wants to continue those moves. So. Eugene, a joy to see you, my friend. Larry, great to be with you. Grateful for what you guys are doing. Thank you. All right. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>